Hello everyone, welcome to Yernia Investment Academy. Today we will talk about the newly introduced platform by RBI called Unified Payment Interface or UPI. Before we move into the details, let me give you a brief snapshot of how the current payment transactions happen and why Unified Payment Interface or UPI will be the game changer. These are the various methods of payment transactions currently with obviously cash leading the way in especially retail transactions. Some estimate says that more than 80% of retail transactions happen in cash and these are all electronic based methods. So if UPI becomes successful, it can make some of these methods of transactions redundant in near future. Nandan Nilekani has called this as a WhatsApp movement of banking industry in India. Like WhatsApp disrupted the messaging business for telecom companies, Nilekani argued that the banking business in India will also be disrupted as payment will move to mobile and lending to algorithms. For a very long time, bankers, regulators and political establishment have lamented the fact that India is a very cash heavy economy. But things are going to change very soon. According to BCG and Google, digital transactions in India are going to increase 10 times by 2020. And it may overtake cash transactions by 2023. These figures look insane considering the current situation. But with UPI, things can change really very quickly. So now what is UPI? Let's discuss in detail. UPI is the new boy in the payments market and has the makings of a blockbuster. It is an interface which basically serves three goals of RBI. Universal electronic payments, less cash society and financial inclusion. UPI is easy, mobile first, instantaneous, always available interoperable, cheap, secure, reliable, open source and both pull and push platform. UPI is going to make sending money and receiving money as easy as sending a text message. Imagine a situation where a farmer sells his produce in the Monday and gets paid by UPI. He immediately gets a confirmation on his mobile and uses the same money to pay his daughter's school fee pay his EMI and pay his electricity bill before leaving the Monday. UPI is a mobile first interface where most of the transactions will happen on mobile and therefore 19 banks have already launched or are about to launch their UPI app on Google Play Store. In the long run, UPI may replace the current NEFT, RTGS and IMPS system. These systems needs mandatory information of the recipient like bank account details, IFSC code, account number, etc. But with UPI, only unique ID of the recipient is required for an instant transfer at any time of the day. UPI based transactions are always available that is 24 by 7 including holidays. You can do your money transactions within India or abroad. Other very important feature of UPI is interoperability. A customer of Bank X can now download the UPI app of Bank Y and transact. It really boils down to whose app is better. The customer will choose that app and eventually be open for acquisition by that bank. So the real competition will be between the banks which have the UPI platform. Transaction charges in UPI are pretty low. Currently it is at 50 pesa per transaction and it is bound to decrease as the number of transaction in UPI system will increase. System is very secure and reliable. Security is foolproof as transaction will happen in a highly encrypted format. Already IMPS network on which UPI is built handles more than 8000 crore worth of transactions a day. Also, there will be two factor authentication as mandated by RBI. One is virtual ID and the other is mobile pin. It's an open source system. So basically any vendor or company 
can register their identifier on the UPI system and receive money from the customer's bank account through the UPI. So it is expected that all the online and offline stores will register themselves on UPI in near future to receive funds. And the last important feature is that it is both pull and push platform which means that you can send money as well as ask for money from a particular person. Other important points to note that are what kind of transactions happen in UPI. So peer to peer fund transfer, merchant payments can be done, remittances outside the country can be done as well as bill payments can be done and the scope will increase as the system matures. Is there any transaction limit? Yes, the transaction limit is rupee 1 lakh per transaction. There is so much excitement around UPI. Why do you think everyone thinks that this will work? India has a billion mobile connection. Out of them, 240 million smartphone users are there, which is expected to be more than double by 2020. There is a large scale fiber optic network initiative being driven both by the government as well as by the private sector. The Pradhan Mandri Jandhan Yojana has made sure that everyone has access to banking. Debit and credit card penetration in India is dismal majorly due to lack of good banking system in small towns as well as higher cost of credit cards and debit card management by the banks in small towns. In India, debit card is majorly being used as an ATM card for withdrawals, which clearly shows the dependent on cash transactions. So these top six factors tells us that infrastructure is available as well as there is a demand and need for such a UPI system. The next factor states that, that it will help in large savings for the banks, especially in ATM maintenance and paperwork. With UPI, the dependence on ATM will bound to decrease, which will help in saving costs for the banks as they are spending millions of dollars currently in managing more than 2 lakhs ATMs in India. UPI will make sure that more and more transactions become digital and which will reduce dependence on cash and also reduce the money printing bill of RBI. Also there will be a lesser black money usage with lesser cash transactions. So all these stakeholders will make sure that this system works as there are huge benefits for them. In the end, a very important question remains, how UPI works, which we will discuss in our upcoming video. Hope you now understood what is UPI and why there is so much excitement around it. If you have any question, please do write in the comment section below. Till then have a great time ahead.